Cal Poly's Marine Conservation Lab is currently researching the disappearance and the reappearance of pismo clams, a California native species. This project started about six years ago to study pismo clams here on the Central Coast. The pismo clam used to be a super important recreational fishery species, but in about the 1980s their populations declined. So we're trying to understand why that happened. In 2021, pismo clam populations increased and researchers are currently trying to figure out why. We do know that overfishing was a very large cause of the fishery collapse, but there may have been a number of other factors. Every month, the lab takes surveys of the clams in order to track these changes. These surveys take place on several beaches in San Luis Obispo. So we start at the top, kind of dry, sandy portion of the beach, and then move our way into the inner tidal, digging a straight line or a trench called a transect from the top of the beach into the inner tidal. Any clams that we find in that transect, we will get measurements for and then rebury them back on the beach. So Pismo Beach used to be the epicenter of the Pismo clam population. If you drive through Pismo Beach, you'll see these big Pismo clam statues and all these kinds of Pismo clam things all around town. And every time that we're out here doing these surveys, members of the public come up and tell us about how they remember clamming when they were children or with their grandparents. In order to fish Pismo clams, you need to have a fishing license. The clams need to be four and a half inches in size, and there is a limit of 10 clams per day. While populations are increasing, the clams are still not big enough to be taken and eaten. Poaching clams will result in a citation and a fine. What's really important is that we leave these clams here and try to make people aware that they cannot be taken home, you cannot eat these yet, and if we can leave them here and kind of protect them, that maybe 10 years down the line, we will start seeing a recreational fishery again. For Mustang News, I'm Gabrielle Downey.